Welcome to Super Kid Academy, a place where ordinary kids do extraordinary things through the power of God's Word. We meet every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. for Sunday school, and our main service begins at 10 a.m. We also have Wednesday night programming that starts at 7 p.m., where our students receive hands-on training and experience. They do arts and crafts, learn how to operate cameras, sing, cook, prepare, and write sermons, and many more exciting things. Make sure to come and visit Super Kid Academy. Uh, Cadet Bella, what is wrong with you? What happened to all that Christmas joy? That's just it, Clyde. Christmas is almost over, and I'm feeling kind of bummed about it. Ah, Cadet Bella. Christmas is never over. Yeah, at some point, you got to take down your Christmas lights and your Christmas tree. You don't want to be one of them people. Uh, But don't get me on that soapbox. Remember what we talked about last week. That Jesus is a gift that keeps on giving? Yes, you can have the joy of Christmas all year round because Jesus is living on the inside of you. You're right, Clyde. Instead of moping around, I should be like the angels and tell others that Jesus is born. (coughs) Well, uh, you can start right now by telling Super Kids. Oh, yeah. Super Kids, I have a Christmas story to tell you. Over 2,000 years ago, God sent his only son to earth to be born. He grew up and performed many miracles. He brought great joy to others. Then he died on the cross so that you could be forgiven, healed, and become part of his family. Like forgiven of all that Christmas candy you ate off the gingerbread house when your mama told you not to as soon as it came out of the oven because you thought it was good, but you couldn't help yourself, so you just took all the gumdrops off the doorknobs? Uh, maybe that was me. Right. Super kids, to have the joy of Christmas every day in your life, simply repeat after me. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I believe you were born of a virgin. I believe you were born of a virgin. You died on a cross. You died on the cross. And rose again. And rose again. Come into my life. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Be my Lord and Savior. And fill my life with the joy of Christmas every day. And fill my life with the joy of Christmas every day. And I receive you now. I receive you now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Woo! I feel like singing. I got the joy of the Holy Ghost. Hey, I got the joy of the Holy Ghost. Hey, Thanks, Clyde, for helping me share the joy of Jesus' birth with others. My pleasure. You are one of my favorite friends. Merry Christmas, friend. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Clyde, and Merry Christmas, Super Kids. going down thought it was for the count then i found your love i had wandered off thought i had gone too far there i found your love fear i used to know can't stop me anymore cause i found your love when i feel alone i have a place to go Was the dead of sin grace brought me back again? Now I am rising up one by the Savior's love. Your love is higher than the stars, declaring who you are. Your love uncontainable. Your love is deep enough to reach the deepest part of me.
about this morning. But first, Alameda, can you put up that prophecy um, from Brother Copeland? I'm going to read it. All right. This is what Brother Copeland said. He said, 2024 will be a year of more and more and more and more. You got it. More finances, more healings, more miracles, more outpourings, more people coming to Jesus and more things happening. So we learned today that with the prophetic word, we have to do three things. Do y'all remember what that is? What was number one? What, what did we learn today? Believe. Believe. Very good. What was number two? Declare God's word. Y'all are awesome. What was number three? Act. Act. Y'all remember that one. Okay. So we learned what we're supposed to do with the prophetic word. And tonight we're going to talk about how we prepare to receive the more and more. Let me hear you. And more and more for all that God. Or the, for, for mores, for mores. But if you want to receive more, have at it, brother. But we're going to learn how we can receive all of that that God has for us in 2024. So I want you to turn with me to 2 Kings chapter 4. 2 Kings, that's in the Old Testament. 2 Kings chapter 4. I'm going to bring this down here so I can be closer to y'all tonight. All right. 2 Kings chapter 4. And I also want to welcome all of our super kids watching from home. We are celebrating and bringing in the new year together. And the best way to do that is with the word of God. So I'm so excited that you joined us today as well. All right. 2 Kings chapter 4. And it says, One day the widow of a member of the group of the prophets came to Elisha and cried out, My husband who served you is now dead, and you know how he feared the Lord. But now a creditor has come threatening to take my two sons as slaves. So let me tell you what was happening. This woman, she was married, but somehow he died. And she had a lot of debt, okay? So there was obviously something that she owed. And because she didn't have the money, because her husband was no longer there, he probably, she probably didn't have a job because a lot of times women back in those days weren't working. And she owed all this money. So in exchange for the debt she owed, the creditors came to her and said, okay, I'm going to take your two sons in exchange for what you owe me and these two sons are going to become my slaves. That's kind of crazy and scary, right? Yeah. Okay, so this woman was like, oh my gosh, 
I don't want my sons to be taken away. Okay, so let's go to verse two. What can I do to help you? Elisha, who's the prophet, asked. He asked her this. Tell me, what do you have in the house? Now, what we learned about this morning is that with a prophetic word, that we are to do something with that, right? We can't just be like, oh, more and more and more and more. Hallelujah. It's just going to fall. No, we, we got to prepare ourselves, right? We got to believe. We got to declare God's word and we got to act on that word. And the prophet came to her and he didn't say, oh, let me just do this for you. He said, what do you have in your house? He asked her, what are you going to do about this? Okay, let's keep on going. She said, I have nothing in my house except, say except, a flask of olive oil. And I love that because in the Old Testament specifically, olive oil was a representation of the Holy Spirit. Okay? So whenever you see that word oil, always think in your mind, that represents the anointing. Like Isaiah said, that represents the Holy Spirit. And she didn't have anything, but she had what? She had oil, but more importantly, she had the power of the Holy Spirit living on the inside of her. And so she goes, I just have a little bit of oil. And this is what he said. Verse three, Elisha said, borrow as many empty jars as you can from your friends and your neighbors. Now this is super important. Look up here. Super important. How many jars did the prophet tell the woman to go and borrow? Yeah. Sophia? So he didn't tell her to go get one jar or two jars? No, no, as many as you can get, right? This is really good. Okay. So remember, we have to listen to the instruction, right, of the prophetic word. So the prophet said, go and borrow as many jars as you can. Now, remember, she had just a little bit of oil just a little bit, and the prophet is telling her to bring all of these. Think about that case of waters over there that y'all got your water from. Think about those being jars, but you have just a little bit of oil to fill up all those water bottles. So we see here there's a miracle about to take place, okay? And then he said, then go into your house with your sons and shut the door behind you. Pour the olive oil from your flask into the jars, setting each one aside when it's filled. So she did as she was told. So what is she doing? Number three, what is she doing? She's acting, right? She's believing the word of the prophet and she's acting on that instruction. And that is so important. And it's important that he said, go get as many as you can. But in her mind, She's probably thinking, but I only have a little bit of oil. Why do I need all those jars? Why do I need all those bottles? Well, we learned today, this morning, right? Proverbs 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your what? And lean not to your what? Your own understanding. So whenever God gives us a prophetic word, we can't just think up here what that means and what that's going to become. But we have to trust in the Lord. We have to listen to him. And we have to obey him and God will bring that word to pass. And then it says in verse five, her sons kept bringing jars to her and she filled one after the other. Soon every container was full to the brim. So even though she had a little bit of oil, no matter how many jars they brought, maybe it was like as big as those cases of water, two big old cases of jars. Every one of them were filled to the very, very top. Do y'all think that's a miracle? Yes. Is God pouring out his goodness on her? Yes. Is God being faithful to her? Yes. Do you think God wanted to bless her a little or bless her a lot? A lot. Why, why do we know that? Why? What was the instruction? Sophia? To get as many jars as you can. Okay, I'm going to show y'all an example here in a minute. And then she said, bring me another jar. She got excited. She was like, wow, look, God, God is performing a, a miracle. And then she said to her sons, bring me another jar. There aren't any more, he told her. And then the olive oil stopped flowing. So the minute there was no more jars, that oil, that anointing, it stopped. 
Now, I want to ask you something. How many mores did God say he's going to do in 2024 for you? Okay, well, let me ask you this. If God is saying that he wants to pour out his goodness more and more and more and more, that means we have to have our baskets ready, right? We have to have ourselves ready because this is God's goodness. How many of y'all know that marshmallows are God's goodness? Yeah? Look at all this yummy goodness. This represents the goodness that God wants to pour out on your life. It's so much I'm about to, it's about to fall. This represents his kindness, his love, his mercy. Everything that you're believing for, this is it right here. So God, he has all of this goodness in store for you in 2024. But what if you only have two baskets ready? You can fill, you can fill some of them. good, right? That's two baskets full. But does God have more? Look at all this goodness that's left that God wants to bless you with, that God wants to fill your life with. But if you only have two baskets ready, where's this going to go? It's probably going to go to somebody else that's ready. It's going to go to the other person But God's going to give you this, but God wants to give you so much more. Okay. Now, if God said more and more and s'more, these are sticky. We got to rebuke the devil off of our goodness. Jesus name. Get in there. (laughs) God wants to pour out more. So because you have your baskets ready, God can now fill up your life with all of his goodness. Even the small ones. I hope they fit in here. But you know what's really cool about this? Do not touch those marshmallows. Don't touch them. It's what? Overflowing Overflowing with what, Evan? Evan said it's overflowing with goodness. This is the kind of goodness that God wants to overflow your life with. You know what's really cool about overflow? You have so much that you can give to others, right? You're blessed. You're taken care of, but you can share the blessing with other people. But in order for you to receive all of this goodness, we have to do something. And the number one thing you can do is you can prepare yourself. And you're like, well, Commander Jennifer, how do I do that? Yes, praying, reading your Bible, coming to church, spending more time in the Word, reading your 2024 Super Kid Bible reading plan. But you know one of the greatest ways to receive more from Him? is to give more of yourself to him. To empty yourself, to surrender to him and say, Jesus, I want more of you in my life and I give you myself. So right now, I want to ask everybody in this room, I want everyone to close their eyes and bow their head. The very first step in order to receive more and more and more and more is to first know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. This is the most important decision that you will ever, ever make your entire life. It's more important than friendships. 
It's more important than marriage. It's more important than getting a, an amazing job. It's more important than buying a house. It's more important than going to whatever school you go to. It's making him your Lord and Savior. Now, if you have never asked Jesus to be the Lord of your life, I just want you to raise your hand and I want to pray with you to receive him. Okay, girls, y'all come up here. Yeah, you raised your hand. Isabella, you've, you, you've received Jesus. If you received him, you don't have to receive him again. If you've never prayed, Jesus, come into my heart, be my Lord and Savior, this is the opportunity for you to do that. Very good. Come right here, buddy. Okay, so now together we're going to pray for them. So I want everyone to bow your head, close your eyes. Y'all are going to repeat after me, okay? Okay. All right, this is the most important decision that you will ever, ever make your entire life. Do you realize that whenever you give your life to Jesus, he is becoming your Lord? He is obligated to love you. He is obligated to take care of you, to protect you, to defend you. And the Bible says in Hebrews that Jesus will never, ever leave you. Jesus will never, ever forsake you. He is... He will never abandon you. That's right. He'll never abandon you. Or leave you. So close your eyes right now and say this. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I believe, I believe you're the Son of God, that you died on the cross, that you rose again. Your body was broken for me. Your blood was shed for me. Thank you, Jesus, for sacrificing yourself for me. Forgive me of my sins. Help me, Help me to always, always follow, you, follow you, to love you, to love you with all my heart, all my soul, and all my mind. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You did it. Y'all give them a big hand clap. All right. Now, I want y'all to go over there to Miss Lieutenant Commander in those crazy pajamas. Wasting all the marshmallows. No, it's not wasting. This is a great prop. To get <laughs> Lieutenant Commander and those awesome jammies. Okay, now this is for all of y'all. I want every one of y'all to stand up. Okay, so how many of y'all want to receive all of God's goodness in your life? How many of y'all just want a little of his goodness? Just two baskets or one basket? How many of y'all want everything that God has for you in 2024 to come to pass? Okay, I want you to come up here and I'm going to pray for you. You can, you can walk. Worship team, if y'all could come. Who pushing me? No, it's okay. All right, worship team, y'all start playing. Ushers, if y'all could help. All right, super kids, I want you. I want your eyes up here. You're not gonna receive God's goodness acting like that. I can tell you that much. You are not gonna receive His goodness. God is merciful and kind, but He pours out His goodness on those who obey Him. God will forgive you, but if you really want to see his goodness, you got to listen and you got to obey. This is a really serious moment right now. And if anyone's not being serious, I want them out of this line. We're not playing games. We're dedicating our life to Jesus Christ for this coming new year. This is a serious decision. And if you're not serious, you can go back to your seat. Because this year is going to determine who is really going to be blessed. Who is really going to receive all of God's goodness. And it's those who hunger for the Lord. Who love Him. Who truly desire to obey Him and to listen to Him. Are y'all ready to make that decision? Yes. I love y'all, but I'm being Commander Mom tonight. This is how I talk to my daughters. Y'all are my sons and my daughters. This is the most important decision you will ever make. 
is surrendering, surrendering your life. Now, I know that y'all have received Jesus as your Lord. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about Jesus. I am yours. I am yours to command no matter how I feel, no matter what I want to do, no matter what questions are in my mind. You are my Lord. Say that right now. Look up to heaven. You are my Lord. You are my Savior. You are my Commander. You are the Lord of my life. You are the Lord of my life. And I surrender to you. I surrender my feelings to you. I surrender my friendships to you. I surrender my family to you. Everything I have, it's yours, Jesus. Now just lift your hands to heaven. Just lift your hands to heaven. Y'all are doing great. If you're going to walk with Jesus, you can't let anybody distract you. Because there's going to be so many distractions in this world, super kids. And one day, you're not going to have me talking to you. You're going to be a grown-up. You're going to be an adult. And I won't be here to help you and to coach you. Learn to listen to his voice. Learn to know him. Love him with all of your heart. Jesus said, what is the greatest commandment? Someone asked him that. He said to love the Lord with all of your heart, all of your mind, and all of your soul. That's everything you are. Thank you, Jesus. Let's just worship right now for a moment. All right, right now, I want us to pray in the Spirit, okay? We're going to pray in the Spirit. If you need to lift your hands to heaven, if it helps you focus a little bit better. But one way to receive more is by praying more in the Holy Spirit. Because whenever you do that, you're building up your spirit, man to receive more and more and more and more. So let's pray right now in the spirit, okay? I want to hear you. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be ashamed. If you've never done it, it's your night to do it. Just open your mouth and he's going to give you the words to speak, but you got to you got to move your mouth. You got to move your tongue. You got to work it like a muscle. And as you do, it's going to get bigger and stronger. Just let it come out of your belly. The Bible says out of your belly will flow rivers of living water. You may just feel something a little stirring right there. Just let it out. It's kind of like a fountain. You just let it out. Now just quietly, quietly pray in the spirit. Quietly. God, we cast our cares on you, God. We cast all of our cares, all of our anxiety, all of our worry, we cast it at your feet. Right now, I want you to close your eyes and imagine the feet of Jesus being in front of you. And everything that you're worried about, everything that you're concerned about, you take that worry and you cast it. You throw it at his feet. Whether that's family problems, maybe your parents' marriage isn't going good. Maybe you've encountered divorce in your family. Take that care and I give it to Jesus. 
I cast it at his feet because you were not meant to carry that care. You were not meant to carry those burdens. God, we cast the care. We cast the fear. We cast the fear. The fear of 2023, we cast at your feet right now. We cast that fear, anything that you've been scared of over this past year, cast it. Think about that fear. And I want you to, to take it and I want you to cast it at his feet. Get rid of it. Get it out of your life. Fear will stop you. It will freeze you. It will stop you going into doing all that God wants you to do and to become. Get rid of that fear. Get it out. Say, get out. Get out of my life. Get out of my mind. Get out of my heart. I refuse to fear. The Lord is just doing a work in y'all's heart right now. He's just doing a work. It's like a doctor going in and doing surgery. He's doing a work right now. He's getting rid of all the bad stuff. And he's putting back into you his goodness, his love, his peace, his kindness. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. God, we give you 2024. We give you more of ourselves. We give you more of us this year. The greatest thing you could ever give him is not a gift, but it's yourself. It's not an offering of money or gold, but the greatest offering is you. God, we give ourselves, say that, we give ourselves to you in 2024. We give you more of ourselves, more time with you, more time to love you, more time to listen to you, more time just to be with you. You know, Jesus wants to pour out, I just sense this, he wants to pour out more and more and more and more. But what he's asking from us is he wants more of us. He wants more time with us. He wants more of him in our thoughts and in our minds and our heart. That's the exchange. And as we do that, super kids, he's going to pour out his goodness on you. I just, I see that in the spirit. Some of y'all are about to be blessed this year in a tremendous manner. You might not understand it because you're just a child, but I see that in the spirit. God is about to pour out some rich blessings over you. I'm talking rich. I'm talking a lot. That's what he's going to do. He wants to do that. He wants to do this. Say, Lord Jesus, I receive that. I receive your goodness. I love you, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. How many of y'all felt the Lord touch you tonight? How many of the Lord, did he, did he speak anything to any of y'all? Yeah, it's good. You don't got to share it. I don't feel like you need to share it. But remember what he, to, what, what he spoke to you. Write it down. I have a journal at home and I write down 
what the Lord speaks to me. And it's amazing how much you forget. And then you go back through your journal and you're like, wow, God, you said that. God, that's so encouraging. That's my answer. Because our minds can forget really easy, right? It's important to write things down that the Lord speaks to you. If you got Christmas money, go, go buy a notebook. Write down whenever the Lord talks to you this year in 2024. Let's just give him thanks. I'm just grateful right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just tell him thank you for everything he's done for you this past year. He's been so good to me. He's been so good to you, to us. Thank you, Lord. Miss Gina, I just heard the Lord just tell you thank you. He says thank you for all that you do for him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, we love you. We love you so much. We love you so much. You are so precious. Thank you. Y'all okay? Okay. This is how you hear from the Lord. You just sit in his presence and he talks. Isn't that so awesome? It's like your best friend. When you go and hang out with your best friend, they talk to you, right? And that's what the Lord does. So do, do it more. Do it more in 2024. Amen? All right. for watching Super Kid Academy at Eagle Mountain International Church. Kids, with your parents' permission, visit us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. You can also visit us in person on Sunday mornings and Wednesday night services. We'll see you next time at Super Kid Academy.